Low P, low P. Why is he spitting? Jake, you ready? Yeah. All right. Apparently they were waiting on us. Oh, I could have been in a million years. That's cute. Uh, yeah, keeping this hand is brave and adventurous from Caminos. I know it does things. This is so awkward. What would you take here? I think it's the Thoughtsies. Mm. It actually doesn't really matter. Um, Wouldn't you rather take a good Inquisition so he at least takes two damage? Because like, all the things in your hand cost three less. Takes the needle. Interesting. His hand has a dark offer, a terminate, and a coif, so I don't know what he's afraid of with the needle. Team Bill. The only time I'm on Billy's side is when there's a blood moon on the board just to watch his face. <laughs> his blood moon face is epic. I almost wish that the, uh... What was the name of that deck? Uh, the, uh, uh yeah, the Bloom Titan deck oh, was still legal. Huh? Do you mean Bloom Titan or do you mean Blue Moon? No, the Bloom Titan deck. Oh, so you could see him get destroyed by Blood Moon? Exactly! But, like, that was the best time to be playing Modern. <laughs> Absolutely the best time to but be there playing Modern. Splitter Twins, Splitter Twins, I uh, think. Mm. So... James over here is left with but a terminate, a blank card, and a ghost quarter in hand. While Billy has a lot of stuff. Like you do if he draws a single like uh Thopter Foundry, that'd be it's pretty I, I would not say his lights out, but it's pretty much there for Uh Glyph. Glyph's a good draw. Oh yeah. You just need some pressure. Like honestly this game is gonna be slow and grindy, I feel like. Oh, four five. Yeah, artifact. It's missing instant, so if he gets instant, if there's like an instant, which is pretty decent, it'd be, uh, not decent, but it's pretty likely, it'd be a 5-6 whoop, yeah, there we go, that's the combo on line. Uh, that's also massively outnumbering the number of creatures you can make. Oh, Abrupt Decay here from James is really good. Make another one in response, one on the stack, end up with three, one of which is equipped. And gain three life back up to twenty. I gain three. Twenty. More important factor here is that he has three chump blockers for that yeah. big goyf. And now the goyf. Well, he has two chump blockers, and he can start attacking. Did the is the goyf, the goyf now a five six? Because they they were lacking instant. Uh, so creature, uh, land. sorcery, so land, <laughs> artifact, instant. Yep, it's a five six now. Unless there is something that we do not see yeah. from here. Sure. Sounds too much for Perfect is a pretty good draw here. Uh, seems Bill. insane right here. Yeah, but if he, uh, Billy has a uh, Academy Ruins in his deck, which is pretty likely, he wouldn't want to crack it immediately, even though it make the Glyph an 0-1. But he can actually go ahead and tap it, targeting himself, so he can remove a particular card type and make it smaller that way. Yeah. But it has to line up that, that way. Oh. And then you can't really get an artifact because you'd have to get rid of the top tier foundry and like, there's already the pithy needle in there. Cody's from here, from... Just running into the damnation, that's rather surprising. Yeah, that's kind of weird. The damnation is more than likely going to get played here. Yeah. So I agree with this, just draw an extra card, honestly. So Billy pops it, and then he's Tax probably going to play... for one and Damnation. Yeah. Feels like we have a wild mouse running across the screen here. <laughs> yeah. Lands, lands. Did Inquisition? What did Inquisition show? Dark Steel Citadel. Okay. 
So I thought Tez seems pretty pretty okay here. Either one, he could be running the big one too, which would be pretty decent here too, because he just like tutors up, tutors up a Thopter yep. Foundry. I'm pretty sure he's only running Agent Bolas though. Mm. Talisman is not the best draw here from Billy. He doesn't need any more lands or mana producing effects, but an artifact is a decent draw in case he does get a Thopter Foundry to sacrifice in response. Another Kalidus. Oof. James is drawing pretty decent. Mm. Can't say the same for Billy. Significantly better than Billy. So 9 to 20 currently. And the Caterpillar Ruins is doesn't not do a draw anymore. Yeah. That relic coming back to bite him. He's got one draw step here. Another damnation here from Billy would be pretty good. Um, I think he's still just dead to the manlands, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He does have a raging ravine. Whew. Just poor yeah. draws on Billy's side there. And then staring a bridge from Billy would have been pretty good. No, I had a bolt. You were going to want him. I was going to have to fight another bolt. Or calling this commander to get a pretty much anything. Let's see, what do we want in this matchup? So, how many Ancient Grudges does Lopi have on his board, do you think? I feel like he is at least one. I doubt he'd have less. It guards just such a good... Any red and green does he have another K command on his board? I feel like you're already running like two or three main board. I don't know, I don't know why you don't... I'll I feel like uh, it's been like two in the main, one on the sideboard, but I'm not superly familiar with uh, current lists, so... Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that uh, Jun probably plays the most artifact destruction out of any deck in the format. Yeah, I'd have to say so. Uh, All right, I can't think of any offhand that would run more. I, in fact, like those commercials. You would like those commercials, Wade. Though, admittedly, Lopi kind of reminds me of Jake. <laughs> he is very Jake-esque. He is a James. Close enough. Jake, James, eh. James from State Farm, it, it's possible in another dimension. Lopi from State Farm? <laughs> Lopi, again, no. That's, that's a, a little bit more of a stretch. <laughs> no, I was really hoping for a matchup where Billy was heavily favored, so he could lose it just so I could see how salty he got. <laughs> I don't know, like, we, we got enough of Billy being a little furious last week with... Oh, it. yeah, when he was playing the uh, Death Shadow? Yeah, and his opponent was playing Eldrazi and got Chalice, uh, Chalice on both games. Chalice games. on one both games? Ugh. <laughs> when we watched a game of Vintage rather than Modern? Yeah, the Serum Powders. Serum Powder. OP. <laughs> Lopey being Lopey. <laughs> Well, no, second I guess that's second loopy second rather than loopy, isn't it? <laughs> sit there and not know what to do, and then chase it, bark, and win. That was insane. Loopy just randomly having Shatterstorm as that sideboard or something? That'd be, that'd be a blowout. I feel like Billy would... Uh, we'd get to see that Billy face. I, I feel like if I was in Billy's situation, or in Billy's shoes in that situation, I would probably have a similar face, honestly. Let's mm -hmm. just random Shatterstorm for no reason. <laughs> it just like looks, just like, starts looking around like, is this happening? So apparently if I spin in a chair, the viewership goes up. Is this confirmed? Looking for confirmation. I can't tell. Yeah, you know, I see Why can we not scroll down on the number of yeah, viewers here? Because we don't have enough. We can only go down to D. Yeah. Can you go to, uh, could you go to your phone and check it? Because my phone has no bad. No bars here. So you could like, go to the Twitch and then check it right there. <sighs> Making me do all the work. I'm sorry, some You and your crappy phone. God, what are you, the original Feral? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys went without me. I'm not going to go. But it didn't matter what I said, though. Like that's I true, but <laughs> it would be kind of awkward to do a top eight for a just a casual Tuesday night event. I can understand if it was like a PPTQ, obviously, or like even like a, a bigger tournament for like a decently sized prize. 
Mm. But, uh, a very unique hand from Billy here. Two lands, double Insuring Bridge, Liliana, double Top Gear Foundry. Do you know why it doesn't scroll all the way down the viewers? Or is it oh, or, and I thought so. Is it like is it a me problem? Or? Well, you have several problems, Wade, but <laughs> yeah, because I always do that, and it's only like this. I always feel awkward. Yeah, we need to draw something relevant off the top two cards here. Two draws something that brings this shit up. That ain't it. It's not it either. Bob here from James is pretty good. It doesn't matter when he's already assembled the combo. Billy's about ready. Even if Billy doesn't hit a third land, making two guys a turn and gaining two life each turn is going to be really hard for Lopi to come back from. He did do the draw the land. So three a turn? It's it's getting getting difficult. So Billy prefers to put it put out more instead of making more right now, which I agree with. Well, figure by playing another mana producer in the long run, it just makes more dudes. So yeah, the ancient grudge. That, that's a good reveal. Yeah, dude, I may still just the best reveal, I feel. Does take five here from his own dark off, so 15. Uh, could die to these two, these three power flyers eventually with double ball in the field. It appears we have 48 viewers at this time. Pretty respectable for a Tuesday Night Modern. Yeah. We have to say thanks to James for spinning in his chair. That spin, OP. D looks like James just ancient grudge the 1-1 one -one Thopter. No, uh, he bolted the 1-1 one -one Thopter. Oh, bolted it. And okay. then... Ancient grudge the Foundry. Yeah. Mm, that's awkward since he knows that there's another Foundry on the in Billy's hand. I guess he just wants to hit, try to hit both well, of them so he can flash it back. Yeah, exactly. Sure, uh, Billy will get to make a couple of dudes gain a little bit of life, but he will have dealt with two foundries at that point, so... So, what do you do if you draw land? Do you just slam, like, bridge and then th uh, foundry? And, cause, like, I he can't, really, he I can't really kill you due to the fact that he has double bobs in the field, and then he can't attack with the bridges. No, I think I would actually just play the Foundry, make three dudes. Make three dudes, just yep. to gain life, have blockers, and well, if you Well, if you do the bridge Foundry, you just lose the Foundry without ever making dudes. Not mm. worth it. Yeah. And he can still attack with the two power. No, he wouldn't be able to attack if he drew a land, but... That, that could be another win by Billy here. Ooh, mm. Lily. Interesting. I don't think... Do you make him discard? You make him sack... Yeah. yeah. Oh. <coughs> You uh, try and limit the number of cards he's drawing. Mm. Well, he's, he's already at such a low life total. Because <coughs> if, yeah. if he would have attacked here, putting I him to nine, I would have been. Yeah, I definitely feel like attacking and making more dudes was what I would do, but different priorities. See, we see making him anti grudge that is pretty. pretty I think it's pretty decent because making like, getting rid of Liliana and then get rid of like the uh, clock on him. But now you just start making a bunch of dudes, I feel. Really, Inquisition. Interesting. <coughs> you just take Liliana here or Goyf. Painful truths, maybe. Uh, it's definitely not Lily. True. So you just play it and make one? Or I guess uh, you, you, well you pass. Yeah, you keep it up. Yeah. And then Lily plusing here is whatever. Yeah, you just discard that in Staring Bridge. You, you went from 12 to 15. Oh, wait, no. 9. So, so he goes to 8. No, he's at 9. He was at, uh, oh, okay, 10. Did I take the point? Yeah. Okay. I'm at 9. Okay. So unless Lopi finds another way to blow up this, uh... Doctor Foundry. Yeah. yeah. It's not looking too good for him, even though he did have double Bob, and he got multiple cards off both of them. Yeah. 
He might even be forced to play the painful truth just to dig a little deeper. Mm. Yeah, going to six isn't too da too far down, but it's still Perfect. pretty dangerous, especially with a bob on the field. Unless you make yourself sacrifice, which would be pretty spicy, but I don't I don't really like that play here. He might have to deal with his bob, but not yet. Yeah. He can definitely draw one to two, probably two cards pretty easily, maybe three even. I don't know, it could be pretty scary if he just reveals like a Kalatos or a Dark Dwarves if he plays it. Do you actually, do, would you trade here? Or like, would you, uh, like, chop, would you take this, uh, sacrifice here from the Dark Confidant? Or would you I fall to 13? I think I would have just taken the damage just to make him flip more cards, but at the same time... Interesting. And the Lily should be on one, not on two. <coughs> Looks like they caught it. I think they heard me. Make just three, dudes. Yeah, just make three. Yep. Back up to 18 for Billy here. That's looking uh, a little insurmountable for Lopi here. Yeah, I think that... He might have to just take the three to oh, try and dig. Yeah. He didn't draw anything there. I feel like this almost just might be a game. He needs Ancient Grudge. Oh, uh, all lands. All lands all day. I feel like it's the reverse of last game. Yeah. But did you draw the second one of those? I had it in the opener. You saw it with the Inquisition or the Thoughtseize. Ooh. Some can salt. Can some salt. Can we pass the salt shaker to Whoopi here? No idea on mic quality, uh, to answer your question. Uh, Canuckistan, too. Uh, as for opinions on Zoo, uh, if it's the Bushwhacker Zoo, I'm all for it at this point. Uh, big Zoo, not so much. Well, actually, like, like, I've seen it do good at like a decent amount of SCGs and other tournaments. I drew like ten extra cards and only found one artifact to the spell. I didn't call that ancient grudge. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I had three draw steps to get there that turn. If he's talking about the commentator, to be fair, you said that you weren't going to draw it. Well, I, just, I, I apparently I was going to draw the first one, not the second one, or any subsequent one afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need something to go with assault. Yeah. Let's see if it happens to Billy here, though. Like the reverse. Like the reverse salt. It's not been helpful. Yeah. Mumbles, mumbles, mumbles. Your new nickname, Mumbles. This would hurt me emotionally if it were not true. See, the mic could be too high. Maybe, maybe it's you yelling into the mic. But <laughs> I am not yelling into the mic. I am speaking with a loud and concise manner. Did your computer go to sleep again? Or? Looks like Keep hurting mic. <laughs> it blue screen. The entire thing was all blue. To be fair, Jake's running it, so it's a little bit true. I shall draw. I'm sort of. It's all Mumble's fault. I think you keep the same question mark. Ready? Yeah. Oh, so. This hand is bad. I feel like we've lost all sound from our mics. Uh, I think you know sure. fixing. Yep. Uh, trying to fix it mid match here. Huh, we'll see the stream no, not the stream. Yeah. Well, apparently we are still live, we just can't hear ourselves anymore. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> this is a good start for Billy, I believe. Mm, what, do you, what would you name here, Liliana or Scoos? I think it's definitely Scoos. Scoos is Liliana. Apparently he has cards that are important in hand, so we'll see. Tassi stops this. Yeah. About what, you're tapped out. You can remove this. You can remove that. 
Oh, we're spawn bar moving it. Yeah. You know, what are you thinking about here? I'm thinking about if I want to remove the spell scale. It's so you. <laughs> it's not. It is so you. Take the bridge. Dispels. I don't like dispels because I don't like dispels. So there's two of you. Yeah. What? That's definitely the uh, noise from on the floor, not us doing commentary. So. Yeah, we were in a very silent, quaint room. I wouldn't even call it a room. I would call it like where you would keep the water heater if there was one here. <laughs> Looks like. Uh. Well, he seems salty. Well, he did, but uh, he might right. be recovering from that with this uh, scoos on the board. Did, did you hear what he said before? Like, what he, like, he said he, uh, Billy said he was thinking about the Tatsus, and then Billy, and James is like, what? You, you're tapped out. Like, I was like, Ooh. that's that's always Lopi though, like. Yeah. Loopy and, and Billy are pretty good friends. Well, maybe. 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 They, they know each other. <laughs> hmm. See, it's kind of weird because we're getting like consulting opinions. But some people say they like it before, and then some people say it's fixed. Do you still hear it, Kanoka Stone, too? This is not looking good for Billy. He's needing a bridge off the top. Mm -hmm. And he's already gone through this one. And just one, yeah. Ma maybe friends. Tez make a 5-5 five five because 5-5. Five five. You'd make a 5-5 five five instead of trying to search for a uh, sword here? Um, with the scoos on board? Yes. Yes. Especially because that raging ravine is going to kill you otherwise. Yeah. Well, what do you make a 5-5 five five here? Um, probably just the Thopter Foundry. Or actually, no, he has a uh, indestructible. Uh, but it, it's tough. Um, true. So it might just have to be the needle. Mm -hmm. But then you, if you, you could either like take five, go to four from the raging ravine, and or uh, and block the skews and pump it. But I'll, I'll definitely make that trade, or not even that trade, or try to. See, he agrees. Definitely has to make a creature here. But he, yeah, he puts in that thing. He puts in that fifth thing. He has another one in hand, so that's perfectly fine. Except, yeah, it's very acceptable for him. And this time, if he has a land, a fifth land, then he can go Tez, make an indestructible 5-5. Five five. Yeah, he does. Yeah, there we go. Hey, but he's going down to 7, which is a little bit of a thing, but not Why is he really. going down to 7? It, 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 it's a watery grave. It's a shock. Oh, I, gotcha. I feel like it's what the land he played, Kirk. Definitely lost track. I don't think they. Okay. Yeah. So two five fives versus a board of man lands. One's indestructible too, which is a thing. Indeed. If James keeps playing out threats here, it's it'll be pre pretty favorable for him. What is not made in China? Let's be honest here. Hey, leave Mumbles alone. How do you think he got his nickname? Uh, oh. Oh. 2-3 Goyf is, isn't the most impressive Goyf, but it, it, it does attack, slightly. It doesn't even attack. He's got two 5-5s five on the other side. It does not attack, good sir. So now you, you start plusing the yeah. Tez. Now uh, like Billy is in a much better, much better position. I'll, if he finds like a, uh, either a steering bridge or a sword here, it would be very good. Yeah. Wade made in China? 
I can confirm that. <laughs> Wade we have confirmation from Wade himself. Wade was in fact made of China. Hmm. Why do you think he mumbles? Poor quality. But but are they? It could be. Maybe the yeah, some of these might have been printed in China. Can you tell? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the the mirror signet awful? Yeah, I think he had a choice between signet and uh, talisman. So. Yeah, it's not really a choice there. <laughs> No. Liliana, the draw from Billy. Doesn't help when you have a needle naming Liliana. Yeah, not, not a thing. Staring Bridge, or, do you choose a Staring Bridge or Sword here? That's pretty uh, hard. Sword, sword because you quickly win this game. Mm -hmm. Like, you not just, close. You just slam Sword. And then well, you, you actually, never three. mind. Skuz is still active and Sweet. doesn't have needle name yet. Yeah. I keep forgetting about the damn Skuz. Yeah, we keep forgetting about these needles and Skuz. Oh. So, do you think it's. Do you, do you think it's Staring Bridge here? You can, play so. you can take a Snaring Bridge and then play Liliana and have one card in hand and just not be attacked, and then you can try to win off the Tezzeret. I think the game plan is definitely the Tezzeret now, so... Take the, the t I don't know what language that Tarmogoyf is, but it's not English, <laughs> and it could be Chinese, but I feel like Loki yeah, doesn't... He only plays Japanese yeah. cards, I'm pretty sure. This is Loki. He yeah, quality yeah. stuff here. <laughs> Billy tries to yeah, use his Liliana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Loki kindly reminds him. spell one time. Nope. All the lands for Lopi. This is this has been the story of this match. Lands on one side, perfect mix on the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Billy's doing his thing over here. So how many artifacts does he have? He has one, two, three, four. Five, six. He has six artifacts, so uh, he can signet. nug him for twelve. Yeah. yeah. Do you, would you just hook him for 12 or nope. do you keep plus pushing? Because there's keep no reason plusing. not to. Uh, yeah. He has a bridge on the board. Yeah, there's, there's no reason not to. Exactly. Also, but you want to keep it also. Keep, keep your treasure. Uh, yeah. That'd kill it now if you ult it. No, that's true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, 5 artifacts. Mm. It's hard telling since half Ooh, of them. Damnation the draw here from Billy. Duh, I don't think that's all that great. Well, it's not. It doesn't affect it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't. It, it blows up the needle. Uh, it does blow up the yield, allowing both Lilianas, but then he can just kill the Liliana, unless he blocks. True. Well, it would just, he would have it, to animate. No, no, because he'd have the Dark Steel Citadel, and he'd have to animate a land. Yeah, exactly. That's which would both would be a chump block. Finds another Thopter Foundry, which is basically just another artifact that could deal to. He could attack here, putting him to 13 with his creeping. Oh, no. Snaring Bridge is still a card. Yeah, and Snaring Bridge is definitely a card. The game is basically locked down as long as Ensnaring Bridge is on the board. Yeah. So he's just aiming to kill with Tez here by getting enough he's artifacts. His he only uh, needs two more. We had that conversation as he attempted to activate his <laughs> Liliana earlier. Yeah. Uh, just to show I've got the full flood. Just to show I have the it's full flood. The full flood. Yeah, so that means is 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. That's, he's a little, I'm more curious about his double forest. I know a lot of the uh, Jun decks have been playing three to four basics yeah, with uh, doubles. I'm gonna so. die after his list, he only played five two swamps in the forest. So like, Very heavily black. Don't need no mountain. Is it 12 now? Yeah. Just plus here again. Oh, come on. Ooh. You might fail to find. Nope. Spell Sky. Oh. Yeah, that's Spell Sky relevant. Spell Sky is a card. So. Will we have lethal next One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven. He is one artifact short. Which could just be the draw. Yeah, so if he draw, Well, no. Yeah, so he does need Bob into Bob here. And uh, the kill here is uh, the ultimate on Tez, which deals two times the number of artifacts you control. It basically tendrils of agonies for the number of artifacts you control. So instead of storm, it's artifact. <laughs> it's artist storm. Artist storm? Uh, no, we can do better. Art you do better. <laughs> it's assembling contraptions. Ooh, that's what it is. There's a K command here from Loki, uh, we'll but, it, but it doesn't do spell terrible. Scale, there's a spell we'll on the board. Uh, well, we will redirect that to spell scale. 
not close. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good play here from Billy. Also, it's irrelevant. I was dead even before you did that. Oh. There, Bob, and ultimate Tez. GG's. Yeah. Blue black Tez. Tezzing just, someone. Just ultimate. Kill him. Tez you. Oh, Assemble my contraptions. Yeah, he, he attacks with the creeping tarpet just yeah, to put it in. Can't battle through a bridge, really. Oh, yeah. I second. But I was just dead to the ultimate. Like. There's nothing I can do there. I didn't draw an artifact destruction spell. A little bit of salt here for James. Yeah, I mean. Mumbles back with the mumble. Yeah. Hey, look. There's an abrupt call. Yeah, and then look at all of these cards it's that just, I had uh, in my deck but didn't draw. <laughs> yeah, the H.A. Gudger would have been good here. See, we can see the salt from the edge of the screen, I'm pretty sure. In but the bottom left-hand awesome. corner, that is the salt. It trades with a bunch of <laughs> I love Rick and Rose Tears. <laughs> Very appropriate for this match. Yeah. Because, like, you want to cast more black... <laughs> are extremely painful for you. <laughs> and these stupid scions are protecting me from Liliana. <laughs> Did you have it? Yeah. Uh, actual stone actual rain? Stone rain. This what are you doing? Go. This is the situation. This is why.